What's the best part about being a songwriter? Uh, getting to express yourself um, in a really honest way and it, it, it being greeted positively. Okay. Mm. Right? Emotional response from an audience. Mm -hmm. I find that words and music have a the universal resonance. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're telling the every man's story. Yeah. Somewhere in there there's an every man's story. Yeah. What's the worst part? What's the most difficult part of being a songwriter? songwriter? Having to write. Yeah, having to write is really hard. <laughs> having to write is really hard. Actually uh, processing all of those emotions you've got and trying to make it sense, uh, make sense of it on a, in a, in a word mm -hmm. or a two, or a s because it's a, it's a condensed version. It's not a book. You can't waffle on for, you know, <laughs> chapters. Yeah. You have to... Pretty, no offence to novelists. No, no, no. <laughs> no, because I, oh, we, we read books like crazy. We, we're mm. huge, both of us are huge book readers. Mm. Um, uh, lots of airports, and uh, but condensing it so that it makes sense and it's and it's precise and mm -hmm. that it and it carries the emotion and carries the meaning all in it all in it in a line or two, and especially a chorus, you know, that it actually wraps it up, like the end of a book does. And there it is. What's the best writing job you've had? This one. Yeah, I think it, it is. I'm still in it. I'm still mm -hmm. employed in it. And I probably haven't, uh, for me, written the best I can write yet. Mm -mm. I think it's a, it's, an, it's a vintage process. It's always writing for the stars, isn't it? Like, yeah, the it's next. the next So the you're next saying thing. that when you agree with her, you're saying that for, for you, yourself and not just, no, she hasn't written the best that she's written. No. <laughs> no. She's written terrific stuff, but you're always <laughs> reaching for the next one. You know? But I can do better than that. Yeah. Okay. I can. What's the worst writing job you've had? The worst. Yeah. I was in advertising for a little while, and yeah. that was uh, that was probably the worst writing job. What was it you didn't like about it? Well, I was an advertising copywriter for uh, all of six months when I graduated college, and I didn't like trying to say nice things about products that meant absolutely nothing <laughs> to the world. It was it That's was great. a very difficult brief to yeah. be able to do that. How many times can you say different things about washing powder and feel enthusiastic about it? So I think it's a very soul destroying. Do you still have problems with washing powder now? Or have you I do. Over that? You'll probably notice if you get a little bit close to me that I don't really use it very much. Okay. Mm. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Mm. My, my worst one was lesson plans. Lesson plans. Lesson you were a plans. teacher? Yes. And I hated lesson plans. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> you know, how are you going to do it? Oh, I can't mm -hmm. remember all the words that we had to do. We had categories. And that was just. Mm -hmm. that Because I just wanted to get out and teach. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Uh, what was the. What would you do if you weren't a songwriter? What's your fallback career? Teaching? No, I don't. No, no I don't we'll want to go, go back to we'll teaching. Go back. <laughs> no, um, gardener else. or a waitress, something to do in hospitality. Okay. Yeah. I do like people, so that's right. fun. I'd like to, uh, and I'm extending a network into some indigenous music in Australia and work with um, uh, youth and music, probably, in a production capacity just to pass on a little bit of knowledge of what we've gained as independent touring artists and to somehow put that into a program that, that benefits kids coming up that want to do that, especially Indigenous kids in Australia that struggle. Mm -hmm. Okay. What genre haven't you written that you'd like to? What, what is, <laughs> is there a, a, a young adult novel, mm. a romance novel, a graphic novel? I'd love to write crime. Crime? I'd love to, I'd love to have a brain that could work out all of those really nasty things you can do to humans and then have a good guy that comes along and cleans it up. Uh -huh. So that's, to me, writing crime is exploring your dark nature and mm -hmm. your, you know, your saving grace nature in there as well. It's mm -hmm. dark and light, so it's, crime would be fun to do. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of a warning to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, Watch out. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking children's. Children's books are great. Because mm -hmm. I think they're very precise and just as when you read to little kids, the delight that they have. Mm -hmm. When you know a really good story, they'll read it a million times. I mean, they they can recite them, and mm -hmm. so that's a, and to have that and have that one line and some great pictures. I can't draw, but okay. yeah. Who's your biggest influence uh, for songwriting? Yeah, songwriting. Biggest influence. I don't. I don't. I. I'd say that. Um, I. We're both my biggest influence because I. I can't think that I have an influence outside of who we are as songwriters that I could call on and say, well, that particular person would influence my songwriting. I think that we, as songwriters, come from a deeply personal place, which so 
I guess my influences would be what's shaped me historically mm. and the people that I've come into contact with socially. I think mm. my, the greatest influences are my friends and what's happened to them because they're great mm. grist for the mill, the songwriting. <laughs> <laughs> And they're aware of that. You let them know. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to write about that. That's what you right. just did. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to take that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for you? Well, I mean, the same thing. It's historical. You know, you could, you could say who who influenced me as a teenager probably would have mm -hmm. been that's that's carried me right over my okay. adult life. So okay. there's a, there's a lot of singer songwriters. Who's who's your secret vice of an author or a genre? You said that you read a lot. Mm. Who would it surprise people to know that you read? I'm thinking Raymond Chandler. Oh, would that, see, that's no surprise. That's you know, no that surprise. If, no, people, people know would know that, that I might have picked up a Raymond Chandler novel every now and then. Mm. Um, they probably wouldn't know that I'm way more into the English classic writers like D.H. Lawrence and, you know, uh, so that's unusual for somebody that eats up crime novels on a daily basis mm -hmm. to go, be going back to the classics, but Wuthering Heights and Jane Austen and all of the or the wonderful um, classic Sons and Lovers and those Keep titles. Keep that hidden when you're at I try the, to. to yeah. I try to because it, it, that comes across as a little pathetic when you're trying to pick people. It's a little obvious. <laughs> like, you go, hey, I read the classics. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like, it's, you know. Yeah. Okay. John Marsden, the Australian. Marsden. Um, he, uh, he writes uh, Young Adult. Okay. Um, and Barbara Leone Picard. was no. my favourite book when I was a kid, was One is One. Mm. Just uh, I wrote, I read a lot of yeah, her stuff. But, Where's um, she from? I don't know where she's from. Actually, it was a library okay. book, and I just just never it's, returned it. It's out it. of print. You can't no. get it. I've tried to get it. I don't the know. fines are building up. You do know that. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. I didn't steal it. That's a, so I you're leaving. It you're leaving much. Australia because you had to. Yes. The library police were after you. Excellent. Well, that's a good. I, I actually uh, did think about doing that, but did I couldn't because I thought, no, somebody else will want mm. should read this. Mm -hmm. so yeah. it's, the, it's the same thinking, we, we buy books and then leave them we in leave air, them. airports or people's houses. Mm. So okay. The next person should really have it. Yeah. If Johnny I don't Ca like it, I throw it out. I've yeah. read that Johnny Cash's uh, wife, June Cash, did that. She was always passing books out to oh, people. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, read this, read this. Because you get them back and people, give, people pass them on to you. I like, just got one to Yeah. Know. You know, that's funny, in, in academic circles, they always hoard them into libraries. Mm. Yeah. Very few people lend things in, no, in academic circles because they think they might need them or they've written something in them in the margins that they might want to come right. back to. Oh, okay. There yeah. is one thing, if I really like a book, I'll write my name in it so it might come back to me one day. Oh, okay. So mm. it's, a, it's karmic book lending. It could be. You know, you okay. never know. Well, we did that with a book. Uh, we got everybody who to picked it up and, and read it to actually oh, sign right. it. So to see how many names would end up in the novel by the time, yeah. well, we may never Such see it again, book. but mm -hmm. there could be hundreds of names in what that book now. It was, it was first, the first Dan Brown novel, unfortunately. Oh, was it? was The Da Vinci Code. <laughs> oh, God. Now no. I'm embarrassed to say it. No, was it? It was, yeah. <clears throat> now, when I asked for the secret vice of an author, oh, and you didn't Dan throw out Brown. Dan Brown, Dan, oh, we had to wait, Brown. we had to excavate it. Yeah, but that, to to I mean, it. when you first read it, you think, wow, that's really clever. But then when you read all his other stuff, you go, there's, there's a plan there. That. Yeah. 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 I think he's well. putting himself in every book. It's like, <laughs> I'd like to meet him. Yeah. See if he looks like Tom Hanks. It was a fun little romp. Well, I don't we're, think we're both ex-Catholics, so it was oh, highly appealing. It was great, the, great the, It was appealing. I, don't, I, I would guess that if he does look like Tom Hanks, he doesn't have that same haircut. No. That, uh, oh, and that it just didn't person. improve from one movie to the next. I didn't, I didn't see I Tom they... Hanks as that guy. It's no. Just, okay. I don't well, now that we've insulted um, one of the best-selling authors of all time, That's I think... And one of the best, best actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. um, we've gotten nowhere left to go but to see if you could uh, perform a song for us sure. that's better than what Dan Brown would sing. Oh! Right? Ooh, There's I a like challenge. Oh. Okay. Sing this better than Dan Brown. Angels and Demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. so much, Doug. Thank it's you. great.